let me ask you about the All Star Game and sure. just where is this? What the All Star Game is going to be from now on? Oh, Dan, I hope not. Uh, and we talked about this on the air last night. I understand, and I said this many times throughout the telecast that. I understand it's a glorified exhibition game. The game means nothing. The fans want to be entertained. But there's got to be, at some point, some type of competition between the best players in the world. And last night, it was almost a joke. It was comical. And we highlighted that. We showed, obviously, the great dunks and the passes. You get that. But usually come fourth quarter in a close game, which this was, the guys usually say, okay, let's go for it yeah. now. Let's, let's get after it. And that didn't happen, and that's disappointing. And it's been like that for the last three years. So is it always going to continue to be like that? At some point in time, the players have to take the stand. Everyone's saying the commissioner should get involved. No, it was not like that the five games I played because guys were competitive. And it doesn't turn into East versus West. It's like, no, I'm going to get another top shooting guard on the Western Conference, let me go after him. That's what it used to be like, and we just need a little bit more competitive edge. I love seeing the dunks. I love seeing the passes. I love being entertained as well, but I want the players just to compete for eight minutes in the fourth. Eight minutes. Okay, how about you do this? You get to the fourth period, and you reset the uh, scoreboard. Just I have no problem with that. Put it to zero and let them and, and, and let them go. Now you can't incentivize and say, all right, you know, winners are going to get ten thousand dollars or you know, I I, well, I would winners ha- and the, the the winning team and losing team they do get paid for that. So but, the winning but, team gets more. But, but that, how much? That means nothing. That means nothing yeah. to these guys. I don't know what it is um, today, <laughs> but I mean it's a it's a good vacation money. You know, it's good walking around money, but that's nothing to what the players are making today. So I, I definitely wouldn't put money on it. How about just putting pride on it? Let's just put pride on it. Let's get after what it's. This is what basketball was all. Let's just take it schoolyard. My team versus your team. Let's put on a show. Let's go. Well, if you're 15 or 16 or 18 or 20 years of age, you might look at that and go, this is fun. You know, this is what I love to see these guys do, and I don't care if they're playing a competitive game or not. This is just fun. I, I mean, are we the ones out of touch here? Well, great point, because when you just said 15, 16, 18, 19, you know what that tells me? That's video game generation, and that's what we saw last night was yeah. a video game. That, that's all it is. It's all scoring, and there's no defense. So, yes, the younger generation, the millennials, that's oh, this was a, that was a fantastic all-star game. Gay, uh, guys of our generation were like, this is a joke. This is an absolute joke and mockery of the game. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.